as the sands in the hourglass welcome to the days of our lives. Or, otherwise known as, Build Like Billy Mac. And I'm Billy Mac, and welcome to my garage. So exciting, a few parts came in that I was waiting for, and here they are. So first, these are not new parts. These are my stock valve covers. Uh, wrinkled finished, looks pretty good. Uh, with the bung weld in, welded in so we can run the catch can. Both sides. And here's part number one that arrived. So since I'm cool and I'm not gonna run my knock sensors, we got a nice ICT valley cover. These things look so nice. Wait till you see when I put this on the engine. And last but not least, yes, yes. Chrome Molly push rods, I guess that's what they're called. Brian Truly Racing yet again has come through for me with the hardened push rods. Remember we measured these up in the other video. Let's toss these in today. Yes, let's get going. Do I really have to take this package off? Can't do that with one hand. There they are. So pretty. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna throw a little bit of oil in the bag, saturate them, then we'll throw them in the engine. So the first thing I'm gonna do Give that a quick clean out in the head, and then we'll drop in the push rods. All right. So, pretty simple. We drop in, just make sure that they're in the right spot. One side done, let me hit the other. There you have it, they're all in place. Now it's time to toss on the rockers. So first thing we put on is the uh, rocker plate. Like so. And because we ran the uh, BTR Trunnion upgrade, it comes with new bolts. The new bolts have the uh, 12 point as opposed to the uh, the stock bolts. So they just sit in place like such. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And then we install them. That's it. Pretty simple. We'll get to the torque specs in just a minute. Here we go. Beautiful, all in place. Now it's time to hit the other side. Done like dinner. So what we have to do next is we will have to torque these down to 22 pounds feet of torque. I unfortunately do not have a socket to fit these, that'll fit my torque wrench. Later time, later time. Now's a good time to get this valley cover on. So like always, what I'm going to do is make sure everything is tidied up. There is oil in there, it has been cleaned, so I'm not too, too concerned about anything going wrong. I just need to grab the gasket, throw the gasket on first. Ooh, right. So as you can see, the gasket has to go this way. Can't go the other way because it's flat there. And you need room for your cam sensor. Oh, right. It was at this moment that he knew he up. As being a newbie, you can see I have the gasket on wrong. Why didn't you guys tell me? Jace, Jace. Hey, flip it over, Randy. There you go, bud. All right. 
And now it seems like it fits a lot better. The only problem is, is I do not like the way it looks this color. So time to get some paint to it. Yeah, so there you go. That's what it looks like with a nice textured finish. I will take a brush and tidy this stuff up whenever everything is back together, just to be a little bit more picky. Way nicer. Let's get the bolts and uh, install them. All right. So the valley cover, 18 pounds feet. And uh, let's put this up here for now. Not sure that these have to be tightened in any particular way, but we're going to start at the inside and work our way in. So that's all torqued down. Now, 22 pounds feet for the rocker. Um, I wasn't gonna do these, but I had to go to Canadian Tire to grab something else, so I figured I might as well grab an adapter, which I did. So 22 pounds feet. Let's get started. All right, the valve covers are sitting on for now. Great, great, great. We'll get the gaskets all set in place on these valve covers another time. I still gotta finish this uh, coil cover for this side and uh, a couple more little things. Okay, so this here is a truck manifold. This is what I'm going to use for now. So I think I'm gonna clean it up some. I'm not too sure if I should be shaving it and running boost, but uh, we're gonna send it anyway. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> so we'll get to that probably in the next video. And like I said, this power glide, I wanna get some work done to that. Well, not necessarily I want to get work done. I'd like to see what we need. I know we need the tube and the uh, dipstick. We'll have to tap some new uh, AN fittings on. I'm gonna pull this out to see what's inside. And it does need a, a valve body with a trans brake. It does have a uh, shaft installed. Not too sure what shaft it is, um, but I probably will get something else. <sighs> it's all new for me. So that's it for today's video. You guys got to see what I did to the engine. A couple parts came in. Uh, the push rods are in, the rockers are in, and the new valley cover is on. It's painted. It looks great. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Take care. I'm Billy Mack. Like and subscribe. Please share this video if you get the chance. Hopefully we can get some more people watching. Uh, some more words of wisdom coming from uh, the viewers would definitely help because this is all new for me. So anyway, leaving it at that, guys. I'm Billy Mack. Welcome to my garage.